back everyone. We're back into Let's Defend.io. Uh, the previous exercises have, or at least the videos, have granted me VIP access. So today we're going to cover SOC 107 with the event ID 19. In other words, privilege escalation detected. And so as in typical exercises, I've gone through and recorded the relevant information into a notepad entry. All this information down through here, and I've already downloaded the file and submitted it. Inside of virus total, 23 out of 63 engines. Some of the big players are there. Tread Micro, Semantic, McAfee, Fortinet, ESET. So there's all a bunch of badness in this. Looks like it's all centered around exploitation. For CVE 2017-16995. I've also gone ahead and submitted it into the Hybrid Analysis Sandbox. All the links for these will be included in the description of the video. But there's some definite badness with all this here. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's take the course. Start the investigation. And let's move on in. Starting the playbook. Well, let's try to trace this back and see as to whether or not if there is anything. So I'll go ahead and open up log management in a another window. And we're going to grab the source IP address from the notepad. And no internet traffic. So let's just go ahead and do a reverse. Nothing. Okay. So it is obviously not going to be our first case of unknown or unexpected outgoing traffic. So our other options are AV program malfunctioning or becoming disabled. And where we're going to find that is underneath the endpoint security. And the name of the workstation was Catherine with a K, PRD. So Catherine Prod. Let's take a look. No command history. Searching to an odd. Oh, yet it's not in log management. Okay. Let's see, we got the terminal shows that it ran and the fact that the credit card app and that is the file that uh, we looked at or that I looked at and uploaded to virus total and hybrid analysis so given the fact that it's inside the terminal aspect I'm going to mark it as unknown or unexpected services or applications configured to launch automatically. As I see no indication of AV, although granted it is a Linux system. And we know for f uh, from the case that the device action was allowed, so this was not stopped and this was not quarantined. 
which is reinforced by the fact that under endpoint management and process history we can see it's still running so we're going to answer that this was not quarantined and we've gone through and it's an exploit we're still going to count it as malicious regardless okay and now we need artifacts traffic no emails ascertained I doubt that we'll find anything there but let's go ahead and duplicate virus total and let's just make sure that chrome is actually chrome six hours ago okay no fuss, no muss, at least from that aspect. And so, very small amount of actual artifacts. Just an MD5 hash of the credit card. And there was... C2 address. Except there was nothing that directed back. Making sure that the IP address I have in my notepad is the same, which it is. I saw no indications of any sort of communication back and forth, at least not in the log management. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go through, and we're going to kick off the playbook and see as to how we did. We're going to mark it for that the credit card is an exploit for CVE some sort of idea as to so it looks like it's oh local privilege escalation in order to give you access to things that you're not supposed to have okay now we're gonna just mark that local priv esc alert let's take a look oh so apparently there was access to a malicious address which probably was this mail dot boy dot com dot ph to in which we find well it's not marked as bad, at least as 
it sits right now. Although there is a bunch of files that end up communicating to it. So that very well could have been an aspect that we missed. I don't know, if you go through and you actually run this and enter, maybe you can tell me what I missed on here as a comment to the video. Because I did not see anything inside of log management. But, okay, so with everything put together, that is SOC 107, event ID 19.